everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. And today, do I have a special treat. We are going to show you how to make the most amazing, simple cinnamon rolls that you will ever have. These are perfect for your upcoming Easter brunch, breakfast, or buffet. And I can't wait to show you how these all come together. just go ahead and start by building our dough. There are seven ingredients. You have all of them if you have some yeast on hand. We're going to use uh, some instant yeast and I always use SAF or SAF brand instant yeast. It's the only brand I use. I will put a link to my Amazon influencer page where you can find links to all of these products um, including my Bosch Universal Plus mixer. I love this thing. I have a lot of people who ask me, now that you've had it for a while, how do you still like it? I love it. Best kitchen investment I have ever made. Was blessed with the opportunity to be able to purchase this with the help of some of my viewers. And I am forever grateful for that. Bless you. Absolutely. So we're just going to go ahead and start by putting the ingredients in. There's a very simple cinnamon roll dough, but it is amazing. I actually made a quadruple batch yesterday in this mixer for church this, this morning. And what we're going to start off with is one and a quarter cups of whole milk and one quarter um, cup of butter melted. I put the butter in the milk. I stick it in the microwave for a minute and then you just let it sit until it cools a little and all that butter melts and it's perfect. Then we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of sugar, a tablespoon of yeast, one egg. This is four cups of flour total, but I'm gonna hold about a cup back, a teaspoon of salt, and then we're just going to put the lid on it. <laughs> and we're gonna start it up slow. Now I can see this dough is still too wet, so I'm going to put the rest of our flour in. I also wanted to mention that this has the dough hook extender on it, and this is for small batches of dough. So if you have a Bosch and you find that it's difficult to mix like one loaf of bread dough, then you need this dough hook extender, and it makes the process a lot easier and it, it kneads your dough more completely. Now, you see that the dough has come apart from the side of the bowl, and it is still a little sticky, but it's not super sticky. Now we're going to let the mixer go for five minutes. We're going to allow this to knead, build up the gluten, and when it's ready, we'll come back and we'll show you what it looks like. You want it to be walking around the outside of the bowl. If it's walking around the inner column on this mixer, then you don't have enough flour. And it's very humid in my area today because it's been raining for two days straight. So I did add an extra half a cup of flour. And just to be safe, make sure that it's not gonna stick to the bowl when I try and get it out. I'm gonna drizzle just a small amount of vegetable oil in the bowl and then it won't stick when I'm trying to get it out. We'll move that out of the way and then I should easily be able to pick this up and I can. Now I have a bowl over here prepared with just some vegetable oil spray and I'm just going to bring the dough into a nice ball like so. And then I'm gonna give it a spray on the top so it doesn't develop a skin. Now I'm just gonna let this rest but I'm gonna cover it with a bonnet. This is just Instead of plastic wrap, this is a reusable bonnet. I buy these at the beauty supply store in a package of 100. They cost six or seven dollars, and we use them for a lot of things. We use them to cover leftovers, we use them to raise bread, we use them um, to cover whatever we don't want to get dust and dirt into when we're hanging around the kitchen. So I'm gonna just go ahead and set this off to the side, and I'm gonna let it rise for about an hour, and then we'll come back and we'll build our cinnamon rolls. All right, our dough has risen. Definitely it has doubled in size. Now I will say that this has been rising longer than an hour, but when you're talking about yeast dough, <laughs> the first rise, you don't need to be so concerned about over rising. The second rise, you wanna be super careful not to over rise it. But now 
the longer you let this rise the first time, the more fermented it's going to become and the more yeasty your dough is going to taste. So I don't ever worry about it if I can't get to it exactly in an hour. I just kind of deal with it when I can. And now we're just going to deflate the dough. You see how nice and airy that's gotten. It's really beautiful. It, it does smell great. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it Put it on the board and I'm going to roll this out um, into a rectangle approximately the same size as my board. That's good enough. I'm not even going to worry about getting it perfect into the corners or anything like that. So I have the other half of the stick of butter that I put in the dough and it is soft and a little bit melty. And I'm just going to take a pastry brush and brush it all over. We're gonna paint the fence. Except leave yourself about a half an inch at this end um, because when you roll it all the way up, you're gonna to wanna to pinch it shut and if you butter and sugar that part, it's never going to come together and you're gonna have a big old mess. Okay, now I have some brown sugar. I don't know how much I'm gonna need, so I'm just going to sprinkle it all over and then we're just gonna kind of pat it down there. You can choose to use white sugar if you want. A lot of people like, you know, to use like regular granulated sugar in their cinnamon rolls. Up to you. I prefer the flavor of the brown sugar. And it won't, wouldn't be cinnamon rolls without cinnamon. So I'm not going to measure precisely. I used a cup of brown sugar on here and I'm probably gonna use about at least a tablespoon of cinnamon. You can adjust this to your liking. If you like a little bit more, use a little bit more. If you like a little bit less, use a little bit less. Entirely up to you. Now on the, the long end closest to you, I want you to start to gently roll up the dough into a spiral. And you're gonna wanna kinda keep it in nice, tight roll. You don't want it to be loose, otherwise then when you bake it, it's gonna bake open, it's gonna look ugly. And as you're rolling it, just kinda give it a little pull as you twist it up. Long twist. Yes. And then when you come to the end, kind of pull it over and give it a pinch. We're going to cut this into 12 somewhat equal pieces. I have a nine and a half by a nine by 13 baking pan ready to go. It has been sprayed with cooking spray and eyeball it. And if you have a sharp knife, you should be good. Cut in half, cut in half again. Cut this half in half. And then you're gonna cut each piece in three, three equal pieces. On these end pieces, you can just give them a little mash down and, and then we're just going to place them in the baking pan three across these are gorgeous mm -hmm. and four down you're going to leave a little space in between each one because we're going to give this room to grow and again here's our end piece you can just mash that down a little and you're ready to let these rise I'm going to take my bonnet that I used when I rose the dough in the bowl and I'm just going to pop it on here. See how handy that is? Really is handy. Um, and I'm going to set these on top of my stove where my oven is preheating to 350 degrees. These are going to rise for about 30 minutes and I'll bring you back and I'll show you what they look like and then we're going to pop them in the oven for about 25 minutes. All right, it's been just about 30 minutes and our cinnamon rolls have risen properly. You see all the 
Empty space has now been filled up with beautiful yeasty dough. And now they're gonna go in a 350 degree oven for approximately 25 minutes. And then we'll bring you back and we'll show you what they look like when they come out of the oven. All right, our cinnamon rolls have just come out of the oven. They were in there for 25 minutes at 350 degrees and they're beautiful. We're going to let them uh, cool for at least an hour and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna go ahead and apply a simple icing glaze and then they'll be ready to enjoy. So we'll be back when it's time to do that. All right, we're gonna whip up our simple icing glaze for our cinnamon rolls. And I have two cups of powdered sugar, a splash of vanilla, and I have some milk here, but I'm not going to pour it all in there at once. And then we're just gonna whisk this together. The secret to a good icing glaze is to start off with a little bit of liquid and work your way up because you can add more, but you can't take it away once you've put it in there. You, then you just keep playing this game of adding more sugar and more liquid and more sugar and more liquid. And then you end up with way more glaze than you need. Now I see then that I need more liquid. I'm gonna add the rest. If you see little brown flecks, that's from vanilla bean because I'm used my homemade, um, my homemade vanilla extract. And then we'll just go ahead and drizzle this all over. You can also pour this into a pastry bag if you want to, if you want a little more control. Now when I made them for church, I did actually put the glaze in a pastry bag just because I wanted it to be pretty. But like I said, this is for family. They're gonna eat it anyway. Yep. There you go. Beautiful. Damn, that looks good. Uh -huh. Now all that's left is to grab a plate and serve it up. So I'll be right back. Well, there you have it. There are our delicious, simple cinnamon rolls. I mean, really, they were so easy to make. You have all of these ingredients on hand, I promise you. Remember, the best result is gonna be from instant yeast. It didn't take any time to mix them up. The only thing that you have to do is wait for the rise the first time. So go plan on doing other things while that's happening and you'll be able to roll these up into beautiful cinnamon rolls and have them ready for your Easter breakfast or your Easter brunch or really whenever you fancy some delicious cinnamon rolls. So, are you ready? A nice snack. Yep. If I have to. You do. Are they delicious? Cinnamon got nothing on you. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh. That dough is soft and fluffy. Mm -hmm. The glaze is the perfect complement to the cinnamon filling. I mean, guys, look at this. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I could eat oh my goodness. You'll have to fight the rest of the family for it, honey. <laughs> you are gonna love these. And if you've never made a yeast dough before, fear not, this is a great place to start and you're gonna find it super easy. I hope that you give it a try. I hope that you're brave if you've never made yeast dough because once you make this and make the dough like this, you're, you're gonna wanna find out what else you can make. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you give this a try. And if you did enjoy it, please consider hitting that that thumbs up button. If you're new to my kitchen, welcome. Uh, it's always a pleasure to welcome new friends into the kitchen. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you are a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, be sure and go down below next to the subscribe button. Hit that bell notification button so that you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give these delicious and simple cinnamon buns a try sometime soon, whether it's for Easter or any other occasion. And I hope you love them. And until next time, I'll see ya.